<laughs> I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, sure. Cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist again and you can watch Greg's side of the adventure. Okay. The bug woke me up because the zipper is broken and yesterday I went to the hospital so I couldn't work on it. Oh yeah, yesterday was an adventure. Let's get coffee and work on the ball. Let's see what what comes out of it. Cross your fingers. Uh, cross mine. No on wood. So I'm going to make a fire. Make some coals and do one last drying on the ball. Do the arrows. Do one last bending and drying and heat treating the arrows. Harden the tip of the arrows. And uh, hopefully soon we'll get onto some blue grouse. Yeah, I have the bow here in the sunshine. Drying, cooling down after the heat treatment. I got my arrows here. Same thing. Drying on the chair. The stick is, is you see as you can see the bow right now is braced backwards. This is the back of the bow over here, and this is the belly. By brace it backwards for the heat treatment, for the heat hardening, and to sometimes to give it shape, to give it a little bit of reflex. I hope this thing works, man. It's not sanded. And then first time brace this is the first well it's still a long string but I'm gonna brace it don't break yes really good whoa that made me sweat I'll tell Greg the good news I think look at this guy huh? well you know what I am, eh? The Sasquatch? I'm a bushman. Oh, you're a bushman. What? You look like Ray I, Livingston. I, I, yeah, I snuck right up on you with this. Yeah, thing. whoa. I didn't even know I was here. I thought you were the Sasquatch. <laughs> you look like that guy Ray from alone. If, if you dressed like this and people saw you in the bush? Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be funny. That's hilarious. I like doing these kind of get outs. <laughs> I just saw a big fish out there. Pardon? I just saw a fish out there. Cruising. Yeah. Jellyfish are moving in. I just saw a fish out there.
Got him. Got one. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was a good one, dude. You think it was a coal? Yeah, I hold, I held on the thing because I didn't want the, the drag. Yeah, man. It was a coal. I think so. It was shiny. He came oh, to eat it. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. Lord, dude, my note. I had a 20 pound line in there. And it was probably a coal. Yeah. Yeah, it was shiny. He came to eat it. Got a little knock in there, oh. basically just a, that's a point, but it's pretty much just a blunt, small game here. Oh. Some of this string to reinforce the back. Okay, that was an easy way to split the arrow. Some people grind them or slice them and then try to grind them with. That's just a really quick way. And like one, two, three pieces. Number two, you space it. Mosquitoes are out. And wrap it a couple times. You can do this with sinew. Uh, fishing line if you don't have seen you little things like this okay so that's two maybe a little more this way so now you see the string goes in there make sure you want two fletch on this side and one facing that way they call it the cock arrow so I say this is a quick fletch because I'm trying to go hunting right now before the sunset. But we'll make better fletching. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm almost ready. I need to get um, the GoPro out. Very late from uh, hunting. Didn't see any grouse. So two elk, one huge one. Okay, good morning. Yeah, it's uh, really wet, chilly, foggy morning. Um, yesterday I finished the bow. I finished one arrow and I got excited and tried to leave at the last bit of light to try to get a grouse. And I didn't have any luck seeing it. I saw elk. I saw a big bull and we saw another one that I couldn't tell because he was going over this little mound of dirt. I should work in a couple more arrows just so I have them. That's probably the smart thing to do. And then go hunting. I really want to go hunting. I've been doing good with the fishing. Just in case I lose that one and I get an extra shot, it's always good to have a quiver of arrows. I have. I really want to work in my my boat drill. Greg wants to do a fire challenge, boat drill fire challenge. And he started working on his set. I haven't yet. I did pick up that well reef, 
So uh, that's what I'll do. I'll work right now on these arrows, maybe. After the knock, I just go with my knife, my pocket knife, and make a little V notch. So after you cut it, after you cut it, you trim a little bit of the each side, so you have space to wrap it. Now we're going to start going up and you go between the something like that. It's okay if you open them. You can open them with your knife like that. They'll go back together. Then you get a piece of coal and you can cut the arrow. You can trim him. Until you get them to the size you want. Some people like bigger ones. Some people like small ones. And if you have scissors at home, you can cut them to size. And so you can make uh, blunt points like this. The arrow, I made it a little longer and I hardened the tip and fletch. I made my cock feather white. Beautiful arrow, huh? And it works, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's go test it on a grouse. And finally, let's get ready to go hunting, man. I think I'm ready. Okay, I got out on the road. Got on the road because the grouse usually come to gravel up. Maybe since it's afternoon now, maybe I can find them here. The grouse was walking around the side and a big truck with kayakers. Something about expedition. So the truck, they had a big trailer. And of course, send the grouse away after I've been looking for you all day. To see that one gave me a lot of hope. Oh, they're checking out the woods right there. Let's see them. Let's go check those. That's awesome. Really good batch. Really, really good batch. That's enough. That's a good dinner. Yeah, that's a lot of food. And that will feed both of us. And we can at least go with the belly full of chicken of the woods to bed. Unless Greg caught a fish, that'll be awesome. He hasn't been able to catch a fish yet. Poor Greg. Yeah, almost like they know I'm trying to hunt them, huh? Yeah, 
That was a close call. <clears throat> I couldn't make it happen, man. That was the closest I've been today. Uh, low light, evening time. That was really close, but oh well. I think that's what I'm, that's what it is. I should have shot. I'm gonna take a couple practice shots in the morning, just to make sure that I'm shooting at 16, even 20 yards. I don't know. I don't want to get that far from a bird because such a small target, and these birds I can get close if if I'm sneaky enough, but. So hard anyways that was the hunting day guys i tried it i really try i'm gonna try again tomorrow Okay, time to time to rest. Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Makery Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.